gentlemen of the jury, here continues the trial of Sir Thomas More, a prisoner accused of high treason against the true and right titles of his august Lord and Majesty, Henry VIII, by the grace of God, King of England, and supreme head of the Church of the same realm. Having heard the evidence offered against the prisoner by Sir Richard Rich, Attorney General of Wales, we shall now hear the final words of Sir Thomas Cromwell, Secretary of State and Prosecutor of this trial, concerning the guilt of Sir Thomas More. Let this trial now proceed. Sir Thomas More here, who is like a Pharisee sitting on the judgment seat of Moses, has decided, without his own good conscience, to interfere in governmental affairs. And he's very silent. He preaches the old, dusty, and traditional way of owing one's allegiance to the Pope. Or in a more politically, politically correct and less offensive term, the Bishop of Rome. Who is the Pope to judge on whether or not a man has sinned? <laughs> and more importantly, what about mercy? Why can't the king, or anyone else for that matter, Marry whomever he wants to. Love is love. And why can't he be whatever he wants to be? If he wants to call himself the head of the church in England, let it be so. Who does it hurt? Your head is so stuck at the times of the medieval church, when things were so stale, stagnant, and oppressive. But we are in a newer time. And since then, I believe, the church has needed to uh, evolve and conform itself to these newer times. So how much more here? How is Gracely? Oh, also, what about mercy? Hmm? Yes. So how more here? Has Gracely offended the king and all others who are feeling discrimination and Microaggression. <laughs> Therefore, he is a traitor to the king, but above all, to the common people, including the uh, poor and the marginalized. <laughs> the jury shall now retire to consider the evidence. Considering the evidence, is it so necessary to retire? <laughs> is it necessary? No. Is he guilty then or not guilty? He is guilty. Prisoner at the bar, this, you have been found guilty of high treason. The sentence of the court... My lord, my lord, when I was practicing law, the manner was to ask a prisoner if he had anything to say before pronouncing sentence. Well, have you anything to say? Yes. <laughs> to avoid this, I have taken every path my mind, my winding wind would find. Now at last, that the court has determined to condemn me, God knoweth how, I will discharge my mind concerning my indictment and the king's title. The indictment is grounded in an act of parliament which is directly repugnant to the law of God. The temporal authority of the king in parliament cannot bestow upon itself the supremacy of the church, because it is a spiritual supremacy, the which God alone can, can give, as he did to St. Peter and his successors when he was on earth, for no other purpose than the salvation of souls. Added to this, the immunity of the church is promised by the king, both in Magna Carta and in the king's own coronation oath. <gasps> Now we plainly see that you are malicious. Not so, Master Secretary. <laughs> and I pray for him and all the realm. I do none harm. I say none harm. I think none harm. And if that is not enough to keep a man alive, then in good faith I long not to live. Nevertheless, it was not for the supremacy that you have sought my blood that I would not bend to the marriage, that sacred bond 
which God blessed and sanctified as an indissoluble union from the beginning of creation, a sacred bond which Christ, as he was personally present on this earth, ordered and decreed to be an everlasting link, incapable of being broken asunder by any man, that sacred bond which no authority, either that of the spiritual realm held by the Pope or the temporal authority held by the King, has any ability to lose. So long as that bond, sanctified by God, exists, no one, under the pretense of politics or mercy, I repeat, no one has the ability to destroy the institution of the family. Those, therefore, among you that seek to abolish or weaken the potency of this sacrament will only lead yourselves and your country into confusion and ultimately damnation! Bigotry! Pedro! <laughs> Thou mighted oaf! Prisoner at the bar, this court has found you guilty of high treason! And for not being able to accept the fluidness of truth. <laughs> Henceforth, by the order of this court, you shall be taken from this court to the tower, and from the tower to the place of execution, where your head shall be stricken from your body. May God have mercy on your soul. Take him away. I have prayed and labored for the well-being of my king and my country. I pray and hope as the king and bishops return to good counsel, that we may now they meet in heaven. For I am to die for this, I die the king's good servant, but God's first. <laughs>